Alright guys, so this is my newest video on guys who come up to you and say, oh mate, you're a pretty big lad, you know, I mean I'm well over 19 stone now at 6 foot 1. They go, look mate, you, you, you obviously, you know, you, you're quite big, but I just cannot gain size, I cannot put the weight on, can't gain the muscle, how do you do it? Well first of all, my first question is, well how long you trained? And you do get some guys, right, who go, I've been here a couple of months, two, three months. I've been training, I train often, you know. I've been here two, three months. I've really uh, been training hard, right? Well, where's your answer? Two, three months. It is not long enough to gain size, right? Putting on muscle, putting on size, putting on strength, right? You can put strength on fairly quickly. You can t put strength on within about six weeks, yeah? But you cannot put size on within a matter of weeks. It's hard enough to put on even a pound or two of muscle within a few months. It takes years. Okay, I, I trained for an entire year before I gained one pound of weight, one pound of muscle. An entire year with no gains whatsoever before I gained weight. Now, once you start gaining weight, it gets a little bit easier until you start reaching big weights, in which in case you obviously start to plateau, right, to a point, and you've got to shot the body into doing it. That's different. That's advanced weight gains. That's how when you know how to gain weight, but how you want to gain even more weight. But I'm talking about the guys out there who are relatively slim or even skinny, okay? And as I say, some of the guys will come up to you and they think they've been training long because they've been at there a few weeks. Or you get the odd guy who's been there training there a year or two years. You know, been training in a few years. But then you ask, well, how often do you train? Once a week, twice a week. That's not frequent enough. You need to train for a long time and you also need to train frequently for a long time. Consistency, first of all, is the main thing. Now, you get some guys there who have been training for years or a long time and have been training training consistently and train well i get the odd guy who i respect a lot because their training is very very good very healthy lots of cardio um good weights good reasonable strength but for some reason they can't gain size now i get some people are going to be like true ectomorphs they're going to struggle to put size on there are certain people in the world who are that typical pencil, you know, naturally. Um, guys, don't be sort of um, upset with that because it means that you're going to hold your six-pack and eat Mars bars all day, and it doesn't matter. You're always going to have a nice athletic physique, right? But at the same time, you can still gain weight. And typically, the next thing is, and this is the last and final thing, as I say, first of all, is consistency and length of training. And then you get the guys who, as I say, who can all the quality of training, who have trained well, who do have trained for, a reason, you know, they've put in the, the, the time, still can't get the gains. And then you ask, and this is the most obvious answer, because the thing is, out there at the moment, right, you've got what's called the aesthetics class. And this is what most guys out there want to look like, or want to emulate, and want to be about. And it's what most of the articles in uh, the fitness magazines out there all about okay and that is the aesthetics class okay it's the guys who have got the six pack got a little bit of size good tone um the kind of guys who are on the modern version of gladiators on the whole or in the film sparta sparta you know 300 and that the guys who just look normal size but look nice okay now in the old days they used to call aesthetics skinny right <laughs> These guys are the skinny guys, right? They're small. They're not big men. And if you meet them in real life, and there are plenty of them out there, they look good, but they are normal sized men. They weigh 10 stone, 11 stone, 12 stone at most, depending on how tall they are. And, you know, they weigh basically what I weighed when I was 18, you know, a teenager. Um, these guys are not big. And so if you're reading the magazines or you're trying to emulate their training regimens and stuff like that, and you're asking, oh, why can't I get size? Why can't I get bigger? It's because you're training like a skinny guy. Don't emulate the skinny guys. Okay? It doesn't work. It will tone you up. It will rip you up. Um, it will tone you up. 
but don't train like the skinny guys if you want to get big. If you want to get big, train like the big guys, right? And um, sorry, I got turn on the phone. It makes sense, like you know, when you look at the strong men, the real big guys, Glenn Ross, um, Eddie Hall, and all that, right? People look at them and go, I don't want to look like that. And I understand why. You know, you could describe them to some degree as fat. Although Eddie Hall, he 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 has a six pack, just has a bit of a belly with it as well. You know, that's from other things. But it's it's like if you want to tr- be big, you got to train big, right? You got to train like the big guys. But the, the, it's not just the training. Even as I say, the training right. The main thing is, you, you, as I say, it's related to the aesthetics because people think diet is so important to get big, and it is. But they get it wrong. You ask them what you're eating, and this is the, the million dollar question. And you can guarantee if they're training well, all the rest of it, they've been training for a long time, you can guarantee their answer is going to be skinless chicken breast and rice. Perfect bodybuilding food in some respects, right? Um, and, you know, how much they eat or whatever is probably quite small portions. Or skinless chicken with vegetables or turkey with vegetables. Something like this, right? Really clean food. Now, I respect it. I've done it myself. Um, it's very healthy. Um, it's great for ripping up, for toning up. As I say, for the aesthetics kind of class, or for big guys who are already big but want to rip up for, for a competition. But if you want to get big, you got to eat big. Quite simply, if you look at the diet, and they say they're eating that, or this, or that, they're eating really clean. Yeah, why don't you think you're getting big is because you're not eating calories you're simply just not fueling your body enough now listen the body is like a like a building site right protein is the bricks and the mortar right and well a bit and the fat and carbohydrates the calories in your diet are the builders that put that that protein together to make muscle right you cannot have a building site with just bricks and mortar with no builders to work with with the stuff to put it together, right? Makes sense, right? So, as I say, energy is the thing that puts the protein together, okay? Energy is the builders, okay? Protein, the building blocks. Energy, the builders, okay? And if you don't have the energy, the calories, you will never get big, okay? You have to eat big to be big, there ain't no harm to have the odd mass bar, right? Now, don't get me wrong. You don't want to be eating like a pig, right? But you need to consume enough calories. And I don't mean from skin as chicken breast. I mean, God damn it, every now and then, KFC, it's chicken, right? It's full of calories. It will do you some good, right? I mean, you, you know, to get... You, you see the big guys, they're eating 10,000 calories a day. They're not eating 500 calories a day, Right? And that's the whole point. Now, the hard bit is balancing it so you don't put a load of fat on, right? But it's, it is a consequence. You want to get big, where have you seen a real big guy? And I mean a big guy, like, like myself or bigger, you know, 19, 20 stone plus. When have you seen a big guy like, like us with a six-pack? It's very, very rare. Only when we try to rip up. Only when we're preparing for a bodybuilding competition, or if we're just naturally, genetically one in a thousand million, like Ronnie Coleman, and just can do it. You know, there are a few guys out there who are genetically incredibly gifted, but typically we have to feed ourselves. We have to eat. Our bodies just don't hold the size if we don't. If I don't eat, I will. I will lose size. You know, I have to eat to maintain size, and that's what I'll say, guys. The guys out there who are plateauing. Who aren't gaining the gains, who aren't getting bigger. You need to understand you gotta eat. Don't worry about that six pack. You can always get it back. Believe me, you can always get it back. Um, you can always diet and do your cardio once you gain the size. And once you gain the muscle, it's quite hard to lose. You really have to abuse your body to lose it. But you've got to sacrifice at one point a little bit of your physique, not a lot, a little bit. You've got to retain a little bit of water. You've got to take a little bit of extra food in you if you want to grow. Eat shit, basically. Don't eat clean. Eat shit. Have a McDonald's. Have a Burger King. Who cares? Stick it down here, right? If you want to get big, you got to eat big. That's all.